rainbows and welcome back to another episode of the royal family we have a lot of stuff happening in this episode first of all as you guys just saw gabriel and aria are engaged now and they're so cute so this right now is actually gabriel and aria's engagement party we're not going to be here very long but i'll explain all that in just a minute and then we are going to have two other proposals in this video and then we're also going to go see princess sayori han and Aramita's daughter there's something i want to show you and then we're going to go see akio and azumi son as well. And we're going to be having Kimmy and Genevieve's birthday party in this episode. So yeah, there's a lot going on. But if you are super excited for this episode, make sure you hit that like button. Oh, and then also one thing, we're not going to get to see them in this episode, but Lily and Makai are pregnant. They're expecting a baby. So maybe Lily will have the baby by the next episode. I'm so excited to see their child. So yes, as I mentioned, Arya and Gabriel are now engaged. So Gabriel proposed to her. The entire family was in on it. Arya just thought this was a little party a little gathering that Aisha wanted to throw for her fashion line. She kind of made something up and said that she was celebrating that one of her designs was doing really well, which I mean, they are, but it was more of an excuse to have this engagement party. So they came back down. They were up on the third level on the balcony. So yeah, they were up here. This is where Gabriel had everything set up. They came downstairs. Everyone yelled and screamed and congratulated them. Now they are enjoying their party together. And I'm so happy for them. They're engaged. This is a really like a lot smaller party than usual. It was mostly just close friends and family. So we have her uncles here and her aunt should be here somewhere too. But we have Marquis Michael, which is Naya's youngest brother. And then Francisco, Earl Francisco, he's here. And yeah, Megan should be here somewhere too. And then uh, Kellen is here too. So yeah, there's a lot of people here. Oh, we have Cord and Ellis. They were invited to the engagement part. Oh no, what's wrong? Uh, I don't know. Maybe they're freaking out about something. Not sure what it is, but they were invited. So they're they're on better terms with Ari and Gabriel now. It has been several months since the last episode. We are now in winter time, although always in springs, it never really snows here. So it's still nice out. Look at Juliet just dancing here. She's so cute. And then yeah, we have Lord William here too. Genevieve. So Genevieve and Kimmy, they're going to be having a joint birthday party. I figured that was something they would both want to do because neither of them really love attention on themselves. So I feel like a joint birthday party was something they were both very open to. And also Kimmy and Genevieve get along so well too. They're pretty good friends. They have kind of similar personalities. So yeah, I just thought that was pretty fitting for them. And we have Makana here. So Makana is a little bit younger than Kimmy. So him and Samaria will probably be having their birthday party in the next episode. Oh, look at Makana and Kimmy. Oh my God. Oh my God, Kimmy. I think they're a lot more comfortable at parties, especially Makana. But okay, again, we have a lot of other stuff to get to in this episode, so I'm not going to spend too much time here, but look how cute they are. I love them. They're adorable and I'm so happy for them. And then Naya, I don't know where she went. Oh, she's cooking. Oh, she, I don't know what's happening here, but apparently there's, she's trying to cook a lot of things. But yeah, Naya did give Gabriel her engagement ring to give to Arya as sort of like her blessing. Also saying that the blessing is from her and Philip. So yeah, that was just something that made Gabriel really happy. I mean, Arya too, it made her extremely happy. But yeah, they're really cute. I'm so excited for their wedding. Probably gonna be a couple more episodes for their wedding. I need a lot of time to plan. But okay, we're gonna go ahead and move on. This was their first proposal. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to our second proposal. Okay, so we're here in Brightchester because Charles is going to be proposing to Fallon. They are currently ice skating and they're not doing a very good job at it, to be completely honest. Oh God, he fell. Oh, okay. Oh, she fell too. Oh, they're really bad at this. Well, this probably was not the best place to go on a date, but they're actually the only one skating in here, which is kind of nice. So he's planning on proposing. Oh, oh God, that looked like it hurt. Okay, but he's planning on proposing very soon if he's um in good enough shape to at least. But I haven't mentioned this actually in an episode, but you guys saw in the intro of episode 51, season two, episode 51, that Maxwell proposed to Joe Journey. So Journey and Fallon, they both moved in with Charles and with Maxwell. Maxwell and Journey are probably going to be moving out soon and be getting their own place. They're going to be getting married pretty soon as well. And also they're still in Brychester because they are currently working on getting their masters, but they're going to be graduating fairly soon. But yeah, Charles and Fallon have been talking about getting engaged soon too. So he thought this might be a good time. I don't know why ice skating was the best choice. The amount of times they've fallen is kind of insane. But the way that I really wanted to do this, oh God, Charles. Oh God, Fallon. Oh no. But I was brainstorming with Cassidy who 
is the creator of Fallon. Her gallery ID is Simmerflies, if you wanna go ahead and check that out. She kind of helped me brainstorm a little bit their proposal idea. But the way I wanted to do their proposal, I just, I don't think I can do it the way that The Sims works, but I was thinking of having Charles like pretend to fall, but then be getting down on one knee. But the amount of times they've fallen is insane. And I also can't get them to propose to her in the rink, unfortunately. So we're just gonna go like right over here. Oh, you know what would be cute? Let's shove snow in Prince Charles's face. Maybe if they had like a snowball fight, then maybe if he pretended to like get hit by the snowball really hard and he was down and then she was like, oh my God, are you okay? But he's like on one knee. Uh, I wonder if we can do that. All right, hold on. Okay, so they're having their snowball fight now. I just think it's really cute that he's doing this in Brightchester because that's where they met. Brightchester definitely means a lot to both of them. So I think that's really, oh, is he doing it now? Oh my gosh, okay. Let's pretend that she knocked him over with the snowball and that he pretended to fall and now he's getting on one knee. I don't, I can't do it with the Sims. There's no animations for that, unfortunately, but they're so cute. He's finally proposing to her. They're adorable. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for them. They're super cute. Oh my gosh, look at Look at how cute. It didn't go exactly as planned. They ended up being a lot more horrible of ice skaters than we thought they were going to be, but I thought the snowball fight was really cute and it's very fitting to them. They're just very playful. And then we have another proposal at the end of this episode with, oh, is that Jabari? Wait, go say hi to your brother-in-law. But yeah, we do have another episode. Oh my God, wait, is that Cedric? <gasps> Trick. Oh my God, hold on. Charles, uh, I don't know, uh, express admiration. Maybe we had Jabari taking Cedric here to go ice skating? Okay, yeah, so that is this proposal. We have another one to get to later. Next though, we're going to Kimmy and Genevieve's birthday party. So we are having Genevieve and Kimberly's birthday party at the Willow Creek Palace. Ooh, I don't know what's happening here. There's some sort of glitch happening. Oh, it's gone, okay, that's fine. But we are having a pretty big birthday party here. So after Genevieve turns into a young adult, which is tonight, she's probably gonna be leaving to travel. So I might have her leave maybe even by the next episode. She wants to, oh, Kimmy and Makana. Okay, that's fine. Just do that in the middle of the ballroom. But yeah, Genevieve has always loved the idea of traveling. She wants to see the world. And then, oh no, Louis. Oh, he's, oh, he's uncomfortable. Oh, oh, you're nauseous. Oh, King, uh oh. King Louis had a little bit much to drink. That's fine. We have Sir Thomas Stratton here. He looks a little bit tense. I don't know why. Ariana is not aging up probably until the next episode, but I am sure they will be getting engaged shortly after her birthday. And then look at Ellis, he's just dancing. Oh my gosh, I love seeing them dance. Like especially the, oh, he stopped, dang it. But yeah, especially the ridiculous dancing. Oh, and he just met Sir Thomas Stratton. Okay, cool. I don't know why I feel the need to say his full name. It just sounds so cool. I can't just say Thomas, like it's Sir Thomas Stratton. We have Samaria here, Manuel, we have Adric. Look at all the guys here just chilling and talking. We have. Sir Thomas Stratton, William, and Frederick. They're really good friends, of course. We have Ellis here. I'm gonna go have Ellis. I don't know. He's kind of just chilling with the guys. Maybe I'll have him go talk to Aria because he knows Aria. All right, but we should put. Oh, Genevieve is playing piano over here. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, you know what? We should probably have her age up. So I'm going to have her blow out the candles. She's gonna be turning into a young adult. I can't believe it. I love Genevieve. She's so sweet. Her and Cornelius have gotten a lot closer to, kind of like a lot closer to when they were kids. And then she loves Ellis. I've said that a million times, they love Ellis. All right, so she is creative and she's an art lover. Uh, bookworm should have been here a long time ago, so I'm going to make her a bookworm. Okay, but Kimmy is now going to blow out the candles and become a young adult as well. Genevieve's like, yay, birthday, conjoined birthday. They're so cute. All right, so Kimmy's a loner and she loves the outdoors. I think she definitely got the compassionate trait already, like just from the reward traits. Oh, and I think she also got the mediator one, which is good because she's a mediator. Oh, you know what? She's laid back. That's Kimmy, 100%. She's very laid back. I'm gonna give that to her. Cool. All right, we can now call people to get the cake. But yeah, Samaria is aging up in the next episode, which means that her Bellatrix is wedding. It's probably gonna be the episode after that. Oh, I don't know why Juliet's up here. Oh, I was supposed to put a gate here. I usually put gates here for parties so people don't. <gasps> oh no, oh no. Wait, why is everyone going upstairs all of a sudden? What the heck? Wait. I was going to say, I usually put a gate here so no one comes upstairs, but people came upstairs. Did Arya just knock this over? No, I don't think so. Well, crap, no, everyone's supposed to stay. <gasps> oh my God, oh my God, Louie. No, Arya, everybody's coming into this room. Stop it, get out. No, Minerva. Oh 
my God, why is everybody in here? You, Makata, everybody get out of this room right now. Oh my gosh, Cornelius, get everyone out, get everyone out. Out, out, out. Just call everyone over. Stop it. Thomas came in here too. Why is literally everybody coming into this room right now? Oh my God. Okay, they're done. Louis, oh no, Louis's still here. Oh God. Okay, Louis's yelling. <gasps> oh, they're in trouble. They're always yelling at Elena too. Okay, well, that happened. Yep. Okay, he, they're, they're in trouble. Oh my God. I always put that gate up too. Of course this happens when I don't put the gate up. I sound like I'm like trying to keep children in here. I should probably put the gate up. Arya and the, I almost said Natasha. Natalia, they are in here. This isn't even Elena's room. I think this is Cornelius's room. Oh no. Wait, is that Genevieve's room? No, it's Cornelius's room. Oh my God. Oh, he's gonna be so angry when he finds out. Okay, well, uh, we should probably end this birthday party here. We still have two other things to get to in this episode. Oh, whoa. Oh, it's Kimmy's dress that's doing this. But okay then, we're going to move on. We're going to the Glimmerbrook royal family, ironically, even though we just saw Takashi. But yeah, I mean, everyone else is fine. Ellis and Cornelius, they're really cute. I think they might be a little bit closer to thinking about getting engaged. So that might be happening soon. So we'll see. We are now in Glimmerbrook at the Guangxi Palace. So what I do want to show you guys here is a few things. So we're going to get to meet Azumi and Akio's son, Kaido. And I want to show you guys because I found a way to make the babies just feel a little bit more realistic. But what I did, I'm going to show you real quick. Oh, okay. So this is Kaido. Oh, Arabin just playing with him. That's so cute. We have Kaido here. We have Tai here. Admiral Jong's here somewhere. Akio and Han are over there. Arabin you should probably get away from the crib though because you're awfully close. And then we have Shen here too, which is Ty's son. But I have little Sayori. I want to cry. She's so cute. I have Sayori here and I will show you guys. We're going to go and create a sim in just a second so I can show you how she is like this. She's so cute. I just want to like, I don't squeeze her cheeks and like boop her nose. Oh my God, she's adorable. And also Mei Lin has aged up into an elder. Oh, she's playing the violin. Oh, she doesn't look like she's happy about the way she's playing the violin, but she's an elder. Her and Kintaro, they're gonna get married soon. I promise. I will aim for that to be in the next episode. And then we do have Takshi talking to Admiral Zhang here. Azumi looked like she came downstairs. Emperor Li Wei should be here somewhere. Oh, okay, there he is. He's in the room. He found his way. Oh, the whole family's here. Han and Akio and Tai and their father too. That's so sweet. I feel like he really is getting attached to his grandkids. Like, I mean, they had Shen too. That's his first grandchild. But now he's got a better relationship with his kids too. So maybe he's also super close and super attached to his grandkids, especially since Sayori is his first granddaughter. Akio and Azumi are probably gonna be trying for another baby soon. And then Han and Araminta, they're gonna try for another baby soon too. Maybe I'll wait another episode or so before they try again. But yeah, so I just wanted to show you everyone um, but let's go into create a sim so I can show you how I have put Zayori here. So you guys are going to get to see like, I guess some behind the scenes stuff. All right. So this is, oh, it's going to be kind of hard to see her. Okay. Cause she's so little. So what I did was I did end up aging her up into a toddler and I have these presets by Redhead Sims, which I will link in the description below. So they're toddler presets and they change the size of them. So what you have to do, you have to make sure it cast full edit mode is on. So you go to cast dot full edit mode in the cheese bar. This is only going to work if you are on a computer. This is not going to work if you play on console, but they have the body preset. So this is the small, I think that's the smallest one. Oh no, that's not the smallest one. That's so tiny. She's so tiny. The average size is like, is like that. Like that's her as a full toddler, but that's her. Oh my God. I just, I can't process how cute she is. And then I got this like newborn hair. So it looked more realistic. So it looks like she's just only a few months old. And then, so yeah, that's a normal one, but then they have the bigger size too. So if you want them to be, instead of just going from toddler to child, if you want to have like an in-between and then I'm going to go back to live mode and show you guys how I put her in the crib too, because it's actually just a pose. All right. Oh, everyone changed into different outfits. That's fine. And then we have baby Sayori just in here. Okay. Oh, and I will also link the eyes I use for her heterochromia, which makes her have the one brown eye and one green eye. The custom content eyes that I use is Eyes on You by Marvel. And then they have a heterochromia eye too. So I will link that. So what I do to get her in the crib, I'm going to link this as well. There's a lot of things to link. I have to remember. So I have the Andrews pose player and the teleporter mod. And then I'm going to put it in the middle of the crib. The pose that I have is called newborn poses. So I'm going to do control nine. This is on my keyboard. This is on 
windows. So I don't, I think it's the same thing for Mac too. But yeah, so I get it to where the feet are just showing and I click, okay. Then I click on teleport sim and then I picked Princess Sayori, and I'm going to go to Pose by Pack, and it is the newborn Pose Pack, and then it's Baby One, and all right, play. There you go. Again, you can't interact with her like you would in the EA babies. She would have her animations and act like a toddler if I wasn't posing her like this. But yeah, I just wanted to show that to you guys. Again, all those links are in the description below. But okay, so that's this. Now, last thing in this video, we are going to go to our last proposal, which is going to be Princess Diana and Abraham. So let's go. Okay, so we are now at the Royal Summer Home or like the second Windenburg Palace. This is where Dowager Queen Evangeline lives with Diana and currently Bellatrix. Bellatrix is staying here until she's stationed in Sulani. So she'll be moving there pretty soon. But yes, this is where Diana lives. And currently Abraham is over. They are both currently upstairs and Abraham Abraham is painting, so Diana thinks that he is painting a portrait of her. So she keeps asking to look at it, and Abraham's like, no, not yet, you can't look at it right now. But yes, Abraham and Diana, they've been dating for years now. They're really sweet, they're really cute. They are, I've mentioned this before, just like they get to share their passion for art and music together. But yeah, they have been dating for a while now, so Abraham wants to propose to her, so he's almost done painting. How much left does he have? Okay, yeah, he's almost done. All right, cool. He's finished. Okay, so Diana, we're gonna have her get up and she's gonna go see this painting because Abraham has painted something really sweet for her. So Abraham has painted this picture of him and Diana and it says, will you marry me on the picture? And now he's gonna propose to her and they're so cute and they're so sweet. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Oh my God. Okay, yes, they're engaged. Um, If you're wondering how I did this, I have to thank Esme for helping me with this because she's also put together some of the royal portraits as well. I will link a video. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff in the description. I apologize, um, but I'll link a video video in the description below on how to make your pictures like and put them into the Sims. But yeah, so we did that. And then with the painting thing, I said paint from reference and then I took a picture of that. And then that's what he painted. So yeah, I just had this idea and I was like, I have to do this. Abraham has to do this and propose to her this way. So now they're cuddling on the couch together. Oh gosh, they're so cute. They're so sweet. Um, Bellatrix is at work currently and Evangeline's downstairs. So they got to tell her the good news too. So they will tell her that. In just a minute. Actually, you know what, Evangeline, come upstairs now. Congratulate them now. Okay, Evangeline's going upstairs. Oh yeah, she's congratulating them. That's so sweet. Well, I think we're gonna end this episode here. I think that was a pretty good place to end things. Let me know what you guys think of all the proposals. We had so much happen in this video. We had, oh gosh, the Elena and Takashi thing and them getting yelled at by King Louis. We had Kimmy and Genevieve age up. We had Arya and Gabriel's proposal. Then we had Charles and Fallon's proposal. And then we just had Abraham and Diana's proposal. And then we got to see little baby Zayori. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.